Okay, welcome back to Base Sunday. The paper has been around for 150 years now, but has never had a woman as its editor in chief until now. Audrey Cooper has just taken over that role at the Chronicle this past January. We're delighted to have her with us this morning on Bay Sunday. How are you? It's good to see you. I'm great. First and foremost, congratulations. Thank you. You're one of, I guess, three ladies in top 20 markets that are <laughs> running a major newspaper right yeah, now. Yeah, there aren't very many of us. No, why is that? Um, well, I think it's a lot of reasons. I, I, the, the biggest reason has to be that the funnel for women is not very big. Yeah. You know, we have a lot of women who start out as reporters and then you know, what happens when you get into childbearing years is it's really hard to get up at 10 o'clock at night and go cover a riot in Oakland when you have kids at home. So, you know, we, ha we have a real problem with retaining women mm -hmm. when they get to that point in their careers. So if you if you don't retain them at that point, they can't be boss someday. You hung in there, though, apparently. I did, I did. I have were... a really understanding husband that when that earthquake hits and I say, I got to go to work, he knows see in, that see he's in a week, not. honey. <laughs> That's right. That kind of thing. It is not a glamorous life, is it, as a reporter? <laughs> what? Of course it is. This is very glamorous. Well, this right? may be glamorous, <laughs> but uh, I, you know, no. as you started out, you were in Stockton for a while, right? And yes. Covering very glamorous closets. in Stockton. You know, the great thing about the Central Valley that people don't understand is odd news happens there. And if yes. you're a news junkie, it's a great place to cover the news. I can only imagine. Well, talk about just the honor of being in control of this newspaper editorially. And uh, and what's your vision? Where Where is the Chronicle? Where are we heading? Yeah. Well, big question. Big question. Yeah. Well, I think what everybody needs to know is that we're solidly profitable. That hasn't always been the case with the Chronicle. Mm -hmm. So we're really, we're growing every part of the business right now. From my point of view, there are two things that we need to accomplish in the newsroom. The first is we need to get new audiences for the journalism we produce. We have the largest news gathering operation north of Los Angeles. People don't realize just what a force this can really be for our community and for Northern California and to really, you know, speak truth to power. And we need to get that to people who live in our community. How do you compete? Uh, I know television, the advertising pie is so fragmented. And for you folks, even worse so, um, just because of the internet. I yes. mean, people can get their news lickety split now. How do you compete with folks that have tablets and phones? I miss, and I still use, but I get up at God's hours, a newspaper. <laughs> Nothing better than a cup of coffee and open up the Chronicle and get your way to the sports and all that kind of thing. How do you do that? Well, you know, it, it is hard to transition from, in our minds, thinking of ourselves as only a newspaper to a media company that also produces a newspaper. And I think that's a really key distinction. Our websites and our, and our digital products give us a global audience of 28 million people. Wow. Now, that's more than ever read the Chronicle when we started, certainly, but even 20 years ago. So I really think it's a great opportunity for us to reach people not just in the Bay Area, but people all over the globe who are interested in what's coming out of the Bay Area. But I know some papers have charged and people have just said no thanks for the online thing. How do you employ all these people, put out a wonderful product, and still make a profit that way online. That's, I guess that's the scary part. Well, our digital revenue is going up slowly, mm -hmm. um, but it is going up and it's up every year more than it was the year before. So I'm really bullish. I think, I think you know, what we do is so important. We aren't, we're, we're not allowed to fail. So to me, failure is not even an option. Sure. Um, and you know, the newsroom, as long as we can support this huge news gathering operation, I don't care if you get it in print, if you get it online, if you get it through social just media, get just get it, yeah. Just, just get it. Uh, and what is the best thing about covering the Bay Area, Northern California? Oh my gosh, there's so, there's so much interesting news that happens just here. Just the city itself, <laughs> I mean, can't, for crying out loud. You love. can't walk down the street without tripping on a story. Yeah. It is not hard to find interesting news. And what I've always loved about the Chronicle in particular is if you take off the flag, the, the San Francisco Chronicle, if you rip that off the paper, you still know it's the Chronicle because yeah. we have a voice, we have the news that is just so unique to this area which has been changing the world for 150 years, yeah. more. Phil Mateer, we love Phil. Yes, What a me character too. he is. He huh? is. <laughs> now everybody knows Phil's actually a softy. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going to dispel that myth right now. Well, he is a newsman's news guy, yes. though. There's just no doubt about it. When he comes in every day, he's like, let's go. You yes. know, that nervous energy. I need my story. Let's get out and let's Hardest dig in. working man in media. Indeed. By the way, I hear you're a wicked good tap dancer. I too. am. <laughs> I'm not going to do that today. I know. It said that on your bio. I had to throw it. In yes. the wicked part, you went to BU, so you yeah, got a little. Yeah, wicked. 
little bit of uh, a the, little bit, little New England. You can't forget your there. roots. Absolutely, Audrey. All the best. It's so nice to see you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Good luck at the Chronicle. Thanks. Uh, to check out the San Francisco Chronicle on the web, log on to sfchronicle.com. That's sfchronicle.com. Or go out and buy the paper for crying out loud. We'll be right back. Stay right there. <laughs>